Hey there, YouTubers. Going to take this ASRock Z690 Pro RS motherboard, get it ready for 13th gen. Now, if you have bought this, folks, and you don't have a 12th gen uh, CPU to update the BIOS, you might want to uh, return it, get a different motherboard. Or your option, folks, is to install a 12th gen CPU. Now, the most affordable one to install will be this Celeron G6900. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Now, my other channel, I have updated this previously, but uh, that BIOS is not good enough uh, to support the 13th gen. Triangle here, triangle on the plastic cover, and or on this metal part. So. I drop that in, folks, and it can only go in one way. And I like to use two hands. Make sure that uh, this is running parallel or flush with the top of the plastic. Uh, I think that's plastic gray frame that goes around here. Now we're going to drop this down. That's going to pop off. And we will hammer that home, folks. All right. Now, uh, usually I would use better thermal paste, but uh, since we are just going to only have this on here for a little while and it's for a Celeron, I'll just go ahead and use my thermal right CPU. And since this is a round CPU cooler base that we're using, I'm just going to use a dab and make it circular. If it was more of a rectangular base in the CPU cooler, I might use three lines. Just all kinds of different things you can do. All right. Now, we don't want to break off the little plastic doohickey, so I'm going to lift this up a little off of my granite counter. I could put this on something soft. I want to cure that snap. And if you're not hearing a snap, it's a good chance that you don't have it uh, rotated the right way. So let's see if I can remember how to do this. There we go. So we're all good. If you look at the other side, you should see all four plastic gizmos sticking out. Now we're going to plug this in. CPU fan. And on this motherboard, it's the first one, all right? Now, folks, uh, if you don't want to have to go through this hassle to get 13 Gen, buy one that either has the BIOS update button or is uh, in the future. Z, well, Z790 is out. You could look at buying a uh, Z760. Uh, if there's an H770 or H610, H710, sorry, that comes out, you may be able to go that route. All right, so we need RAM in here. And always check to make sure that you have compatible RAM. Um, hopefully this RAM is. We'll find out in a little bit. Don't need a M.2 in here, okay? Let's go ahead and uh, get this thing powered up. So I put a Celeron in here. It has integrated graphics, okay? And I'll just show you the connections I'm going to make. 24-pin power connector over here. We need, a, uh, we need the CPU power connector. And I don't need all of these, okay? So there's a, a 1x8 and a 1x4. We'll just power up the 1x4. And I do have this unplugged from the, the wall, by the way. So those are the two that we need there. We need HDMI to our monitor. That'll go there. Looks like that's HDMI. Blot. version is not going in there very good. Okay, that's in. I don't need Ethernet. I do need a mouse and a keyboard, though. 
So we'll plug those in. And I'll have my assistant plug it back in. And over here on our power switch, we'll get that ready. Now the only thing we're missing, folks, we need something to power this up. So you could use a flathead, um, but we'll use a little power cable. So you have to understand where to plug this in. So on this row over here, it's the uh, there's the row over here. We don't want that. We want the row on this side. Third and fourth pins over. It doesn't matter whether which direction you plug this cable in on this one. And then, voila. All right, now let's go check out a monitor and see what's happening on that side. All right, so here is a computer I'm using to record from. This is actually uh, being brought up via capture card. And um, I could, you know, record this here. But uh, we'll just we'll just use the uh, the camera. I think you guys can hopefully read all this. And we'll make that slight adjustment. All right. So here's our CPU. G6900. And if we go to advanced mode, folks, we'll be able to find out what the BIOS is that's in here. Okay. Somewhere here. There it is. Our 3.06. So let us bring up Google. And this is the ASRock Pro RS Z690. Keyboard's moving all over the place. Is right on top there. We want to go down to support and let's look at uh, this first CPU support list. This is going to tell us what BIOS is good. Wow, it's taking forever. Must be a slow day at ASRock today, folks. All right, so I finally got this to pull up. Here's all your 12th gen. And they don't have a single 13th gen listed. So that's kind of scary, folks. That's really scary, actually. Um, click on BIOS, though. Over here, it says supports 13th gen processor. So whatever reason, ASRock is uh, behind, as usual. Uh, 3.06 down here. You see that? That's a, a really old one, right? Not as old as the first one. So we're going to click on uh, Global and download this thing. And over here, you just barely see it on the bottom right corner. Um, show Win Folder. That brings that up and we're going to extract all. And take this folder itself, copy it over to our thumb drive, all right? Now, if you have a bunch of different files in here that might confuse you, like I have some other motherboard drives, some motherboard folders, who we'll want to get rid of those. So there it is, all right? Now I'm going to take this drive and we'll plug it in to our computer. So I'll do that and keep talking. Now, if you're uh, if you've never updated a BIOS before, realize that you could uh, potentially damage your motherboard. It could get bricked. You want to make sure that uh, there's no issues with uh, power. Maybe uh, check to see that the weather's good. If you had any kind of notice that you were going to lose power today from the power company, you might not want to. I'll run this, all right? 
Now, that said, I'm, I usually go into a lot more detail, but uh, at this point, folks, you, you need this BIOS for a legit reason, right? So you're not, you do want to do this. All right, we're going to click on Tool up here at the top. And then there is a Instant Flash right there. Please suspend. We'll click yes. And voila, it actually, unlike a lot of BIOS, this one found it on its own. You'll click update. Do you want to update? Yes. After pressing enter, the system will automatically reboot. So at this point, step away from your computer. All right. And you can see me in the reflection. I am uh, backed away from it. Now this video, we pretty much uh, recorded this straight through, right? So from the point you put your 12th gen in to the point that we're doing the BIOS update to the very end of this video is how long this process is going to take if you know what you're doing. Now if you don't know what you're doing and you follow along the instructions, it'll probably take a little while longer because you'll want to maybe watch the video a couple different times just to make sure you got it. So I'm going to pause this uh, for a little while till it comes back up. So folks, uh, interesting. We're still uh, waiting for something to pop up here. We may have bricked this motherboard. So folks, wow, that was crazy. The uh, motherboard did not actually uh, restart itself. I had to manually do it. Um, so now it's doing the update. We should be good. That was actually a scary moment. I can't remember the last time something like that's happened. Um, you know, thousands and thousands of motherboards updated over the years and have not, um, can't really remember ever bricking one. Um, I'm sure I bricked them. Didn't realize that I'd bricked them, but uh, in this case, you know, that's, that is the closest I can remember in recent times. Uh, hopefully that won't happen to you. Hopefully everything will go nice and smooth. So we're still not out of the, the woods yet. Now I'm just hoping to get this... Uh, this motherboard up and running for my i7 13700K. I have a bunch of Z690 motherboards, and uh, amazingly, there's two that are almost identical models. One's D4, one's D5, that have had issues with 13th gen. So sometimes it's not uh, not so great to be at the leading edge of the spear, leading the charge, getting things done, right? Um, you almost want to wait until these guys figure out these problems. So it is almost done.
And so this thing should reboot. I'll pause till it does. So uh took a little while, but we're finally in the BIOS. And so let's go take a look at whether this thing updated or not. It's one of the weirdest BIOS updates I've ever done, folks. All right, 11.02. So if we go back, 11.02, we should be good to go for our 13th gen CPU now. Thanks for checking out the video, folks. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.